Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this worst WWE action figures of 2019 video. That is one hell of a title. Uh, the reason why we're doing this video is because we're at the halfway point of 2019. So I thought it might make sense to look back at the year so far, have a look at the best figures, have a look at the worst figures. So we have got the best figures of 2019. Uh, that video is on the way. Uh, but I thought we would start with the worst. People seem to like the worst ones more. Uh, so I thought we would do that in this video. I've got to be honest, hard to find bad figures. Mattel are doing a great job at the moment. Um, and we know they're struggling, but it's not because of wrestling figures. Because the quality is better than ever. The Elite series in particular just so strong. I actually think Elite 69 might be the best series ever. We've done a whole video on that um, and I will put a link to that at the end of this video. So with that being said, let's get to the figures that have made the list. Let's start with number five, the top picks. Now these top picks figures are largely okay. Um, it's not actually the quality of the figures as to why they make this list. It's the fact that they are re-releases. So you can see on screen right now, Seth Rollins, the basic, is the same as the Seth Rollins SummerSlam basic from the other year. Jeff Hardy basic is the same as uh, what came in Battle Pack 53. The AJ Styles basic is uh, the same as the AJ Styles Elite that we got in Elite 61. Uh, and the worst of all, Braun Strowman. This, this figure is why Top Picks really is on this list. Braun Strowman Elite Top Picks is the same as Elite 68. Elite 68 has only just hit shelves here in the UK. I know it's not been out that long in America, um, yet the Top Picks figure is exactly the same. Um, there are a couple of uh, new figures that have come into the Top Picks line. Finn Balor in grey attire I think looks really really cool uh, and as well as that we also got a new AJ Styles uh, AJ Styles wearing his just before Wrestlemania kind of attire around Wrestlemania he was wearing this so um, kind of a very up-to-date AJ Styles so those two figures very good but all the rest pretty much just re-releases of figures that we've had before uh, very frustrating, no idea why they couldn't make just some little changes here and there, give them new attire or something, um, but that's why it makes this list. Next up, we've got Titus O'Neil. Uh, this is an elite Titus O'Neil, and it is NXT TakeOver 5. Very difficult figure to sell because we don't see him on TV that much, so you would expect them to put in some kind of an amazing accessory. They haven't. It's just an NXT t-shirt and a whistle. Uh, there's obviously no tattoo detail on the figure, no crazy detail on the ring attire. It's just a very bland figure. It's not a figure I'm seeing anyone getting excited over. This thing could shelf warm. It's hard to know why they're even bringing it out. Like, I can think of loads of better characters they could have brought out in the NXT takeover line rather than Titus O'Neil. So I don't know if they were told he was going to get a push or I honestly don't know. It seems like weird timing. It seems like a weird figure. Um, the face scan is perfectly fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the, the head, the detail, the body type. That's, that's all fine. It's everything else. It's why is it coming out and why doesn't it have like some epic accessory that kind of forces you to buy it? I just can't get my head around that. Next on the list, and this could be on the list because of packaging. Uh, look at this battle pack, DX battle pack, right? I was really interested in this, but as soon as I saw this, I passed. And I passed because of Triple H. The Triple H head looks too small, and it looks very round. It looks very distorted. And um, honestly, I've seen like a close-up image of that Triple H figure, and it looks all right. The detail actually looks all right. So, yeah, I'm kind of very confused because it could just be like a trick of the packaging. Um, I still feel like the head isn't perfect. Um, I still, I can see a resemblance, but I feel like it could be a bit better. 
Um, but yeah, I actually passed on this DX battle pack and DX went into the Hall of Fame this year. You would expect people to go crazy for this battle pack. Uh, I'm sure it's been selling, but yeah, that, that Triple H and certainly when you see it in stores and certainly from this image as well, it just doesn't look quite right. We're getting to the big ones now though, guys. These next two I've got real issues with. Let's start with number two, the Macho Man. Uh, Macho Man Basic uh, 93. Uh, I think the ring attire looks really cool, but I hate that face. I absolutely hate it. What is that facial expression? What is he actually doing? Is he grimacing? Is he smiling? Is he... I don't know what expression he's trying to communicate. Like, I really hate it. Uh, Macho Man looks so much better when he's got glasses on or a bandana or something. When you don't have any of those accessories, always looks like there's something missing. I'm not sure if it's the hair that looks a little bit weird. I've always struggled with Macho Man face scans, face sculpts. Um, but this one in particular with that facial expression, uh, it looks awful. Number one on the list though, and uh, this is horrible. I really want to like it. Uh, and I still might end up buying it if I find it at like a cheaper price. But Trish Stratus, WrestleMania 35 Trish Stratus. I should love this figure because I love the legends. We don't get Trish that often. So again, I should be all over this. I'm a massive fan of women's wrestling. Like I want a Bull Nakano. I loved the Alondra Blaze. So this is right up my street. This is perfect for me. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it because they've painted over that kind of uh, bra body sculpt. You can actually see that the t-shirt is just painted over like a, a, a top body sculpt. They haven't actually made a, a different body for this. Also, I've said it a million times, that belly button indentation is ridiculous. How they've not fixed that yet, I don't know. Like, why are they just painting over a body like they can do better than that i'm not expecting a cloth or rubber kind of uh, or plastic or whatever it is t-shirt uh, i know it's a basic but still there has to be a better body sculpt than this one that they give us and then they just paint over the top it, it really ruins the figure for me it re and i again another figure i didn't buy when i actually saw it in person i think the face scan on it's absolutely fine I think um, a lot of people probably did buy this and, you know, you should be happy with it because we don't get Trish that often. Obviously, it's based on a previous WrestleMania attire and, yeah, cool. But uh, just that body, that torso, so frustrating because it's like so close yet so far. Um, so there we go. That's it, guys. Those are the figures that have frustrated me the most so far in 2019. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe because we've got loads more on the way. And hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.